So let's now move to the hands-on part. We are going to set up a BLE mesh network with three nodes. Two of them will act as light bulbs and one of them will be a light switch that controls these two. Uh, the provisioning we will do with uh, the STBLE mesh application that runs on, on the phone. You can add as many nodes as you wish. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, we've decided to use three in this hands-on. So let's now briefly describe the WB Nucleo pack. It consists of two boards. The bigger one is called a Nucleo and the smaller one is called a Dongle. On Dongle you can find WB in QFN48 package. On the right you see the printed circuit board antenna. There are some GPIOs accessible on the side, including the connection to debug pins. There is no onboard ST-Link on this board, so the easiest way to program it is to use USB system bootloader. There is one user button and three LEDs, and at the bottom you can see the boot zero switch, which is used to force the microcontroller to boot into system memory. The Nucleo is populated with bigger package, uh, the QFN68. Again, you see at the top the PCB antenna. There are three LEDs and three buttons. And as you can see, most of the area is dedicated for the ST-Link. There are two USB connectors. One of them connects to the USB of the microcontroller of the WB. And the second one is a connection to the ST-Link. And you can also see a socket for a coin cell battery. So it's easy enough to power the board from this source. So now what we want to do is to take the Nucleo and connect to the ST-Link. And we will download the example into the target. This example is part of the official cube package and you can see the path on the slide. To make it even easier for you, the pre-compiled binary is part of the materials for this video. So all you need to do is to go to key programmer, connect to the target, then drag and drop the binary file into the main window and download. And at this point, it's possible to open a terminal window and if you use the connection parameters on the slide and click connect, you will see some debug messages printed out. And this will help us to better understand the program flow as we go on in the hands-on. So now I have three WB Nucleos flashed with the BLE Mesh Lightning application. And I have a terminal window open for two of them. So as you can see, there is uh, the version of the BLE mesh stack is displayed and also the BLE MAC address, which was randomly generated. So now I can open the STBLE mesh application. And there are no nodes in the network, not yet. But if I click on the Devices tab, I see that all three are advertising. They're beaconing that these are BLE Mesh capable devices. So I can provision these nodes one by one. So this is, again, the secure process to exchange the application and device key and to assign the Mesh device address. So as you can see, this takes at least a few seconds. The device that is being provisioned uh, lights the green LED. 
And when finished, uh, you see these default groups for publish and subscribe, and we will configure this later. Let's now go to the notes tab. You see that you can, by pressing this slide bar, you can control the blue LED of the device. At top right, you see the letters P and R, and these tell you that the device is capable to be a relay and is capable to be a proxy. And because now there is only one node, this device behaves as a proxy. It's a gateway for the smartphone. So now we can continue and add the other two as well. So now I skipped ahead a little bit and I provisioned the remaining two nodes. So you can see the one in bold is currently acting as a proxy. So this is the one with the green LED light up. So what you can do in the groups tab, you can use the, the multicast address to turn all the blue LEDs or you can use the default group address again to control the blue LEDs. But what we want to do is to configure two of these devices as light bulbs and two and one as a light switch. So let's try to give the node some human readable name. So I'll start with node number one. And I will rename it as a kitchen light. And I will rename the second one kitchen light number two. And I will call the third one a light switch. So now I want to create a group and I call this group kitchen and I will add the two lights as subscribers for this group. So now I can go back and I need to configure the light switch as a publisher for this group. I will save and now again you can from your phone to control just the light switches, sorry, the light bulbs. But what you can also do is take the nuclear which represents the light switch and press the button one. And by doing that, the green LED light up. In this hands-on, we demonstrated how to set up a BLE mesh network with STM32WB. We went through the process of provisioning each node and then configured the publish subscribe groups. If you'd like to know more about this example, I would like to point your attention the application node on the slide. I hope you enjoy this video and I'll be looking forward to meet you next time. Bye bye!